okay how's it going everyone um this is a video gonna this video is gonna show you how to download and install wii u backups uh, uh backups of games directly from the uh, console itself rather than a disc um or you can just i don't know use it to just play games up to you i guess um but uh yeah let's start let's start with uh, what you'll need to you know do this guide you'll need two things you'll need this program it's called utic download helper uh this is a necessity actually it's not an option uh this is not optional you actually have to download this to use this guide um and it's fine, it's it's not, uh, you know, a virus, trust me, I've used this countless times. Uh, I don't know if, um, I don't know how you can really get it. I think you could just download this from the first, um, you take download, helper, yeah, it's a really popular program, um, yeah, it's, you know, really widely known. I recommend it. It's pretty pretty easy to to use and uh, pretty easy to back up games with. Uh, but uh, yeah, you'll need this along with and Wii U tick title. Wii U title key database. Now this site has a bit of a history. It's been taken down. It's been brought up many, many times. Um, this is one of the um, um, domains that uh, it's taken. Uh, basically, what this is is a database of just a bunch of title keys, title key tickets. Um, so, yeah, at the moment, so around October 17th, which is the date today, um, this site is up and running completely. Um, I don't know if it still is by the time you're watching, but for now, um, it's worth a try. Definitely. Uh, it has a long list, pretty much the entire library of Wii U games. Um, you have to close the blinds because uh, it's pretty sunny outside, but get to the video um you'll need to download one of these and this is again necessary this is not meant it. this is not an option you need to download this to continue um and these actual you know files they're really 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 small it's not a virus again trust me i've used this countless times multiple people have used this countless times so you need to download one of these games any games you want um, as long as they have this green kind of, uh, download icon. So, I'm planning to download Xenoblade X. Uh, alright. Now you have the title dot tick. That's it. Alright. Now, once you're done, you need to take Utic Download Helper, open it, and... Yeah, this is fine. Uh, you won't get this error message. I just got this because I tried to like uh, uh, have it uh, directly open the path to the database. I don't know. Maybe it's closed down, so it's trying to search for something that doesn't exist. You need to press the open ticket button. One of the tickets that you downloaded right now for me. Uh, Sorry about that, I need to take a drink of water. I'm talking too much. But, right now you need to take one of these tickets. Uh, I have like a bunch as you can see. So, download this. Ticket one. And, press download. Now you need to locate, ugh, locate where you want the ticket to go. I already have a folder, so I'm going to just direct it to... All right, so sorry about that. I'm back now. Uh, just had uh, some interruptions in the background. 
Now, you need to take the directory where you're gonna place the actual folder or folders. So it's very simple, just add a directory. And right now, you just need to wait. It's completely installed for me. It's gonna take about 45 minutes. So I'm just gonna chill out for the 45 minutes. All right, now, folks, it's done, the download is done. When you're finished it, you're going to want to press continue and uh, or uh, navigate to wherever you put or wherever you put your directory in. Directory uh, of uh, wherever you put this single folder in. Um, in my case, I put it in a new folder on my desktop. You're going to want to take this, put it on your SD card, not on the root but on one folder called, if I can focus, you can see it basically, it's called install. You're going to want to put it there, right? Uh, this is on my protection. Okay. So you don't want to do that. Um, um, sorry about that, I needed to um, kind of turn off the right protection on this card. Uh, what you'll do what you'll do here from now is navigate this folder that that you downloaded. Uh, yeah, you just downloaded here into the install folder. It won't take that long. While it's doing that, what you'll do next is very important. Move over to your Wii U. Okay, I have some dust and stuff like that on it. Move over to your Wii U. All right, yeah. You're gonna move over to your Wii U. Now, this step is very, very important. Do not forget it. Unless you wanna start everything over again while you're, uh, you know, installing it uh, or downloading it, do not forget this step. What you'll do next is take the same game that you, you know, played, um, basically the save data on it, the save data that you would have. You're going to want to select it, not do that. You're going to want to press X, select, in my case it's Splatoon, um, then you would want to copy it. Not really move it, but copy it, because you're not sure. Actually, no, I already did this before. You would want to copy it. Yeah, so I'm moving it over to the USB one, so yeah, it'll take a while. Alright, welcome back. After you're done that, you're going to want to press continue, and now it's finished. So the save data will be put on any, uh, uh, you know, any external hard drive that you know, anywhere that you're going to put uh, your actual game. In my case, it's a US, it's a, an external USB storage. And I put my Splatoon uh, actual save data. Now, what it's going to do here is you want to just attach it to the uh, Splatoon save data. Once you're, in once you're installing it, it's going to attach it to the save data itself. And then it'll basically act as a disk. I don't know how that works, but you know what? I just figured it out. But I, I don't know. Uh, I just figured it out by guessing, really. Now, you're going to want to. All right, now. All right, all right. Welcome back. So once you're back at the uh, Wii U menu itself, yeah, it'll just optimize some things. You're going to want to go back. Alright, so, welcome back. Once you're here, you're going to want to press the internet. <clears throat> Anywhere that you're going to want to launch your homebrew, I have it just 
on the internet, so. The most important thing is make sure you already have your Wii U SD card inside the Wii U. Alright, so once you're here, move over to wherever you put uh, Whoopack Installer GX, Whoopack Installer, and Whoopack Installer GX2. Uh, click on it, load it. Once you're here, yeah, you'll see this. Uh, don't worry about it. Press this and install. This is the actual program, in my case, Splatoon. Um, and right here is important, make sure you install it on wherever you put your save data. In my case, I put it on the USB save data. And it'll just boot up, don't be don't be worried. It's gonna restart to the it's not going to the video menu, don't worry about it. Yeah, right here. And yeah. You'll just wait until this is done and Okay, it's actually pretty fast. Now, the actual save data itself has the update, so once you're finished uh, waiting here, uh, you'll see the full app itself, and it has, it ha okay, sorry about that, it has the exact same uh, save data that you always used, and it's just really the same as a disk, but just at the convenience of your you know, menu. So I'll just wait until it's finished. Alright folks, so once you're done here, uh, so once you're done here, you're gonna wanna press OK. Uh, so once you're done, you're gonna go to the Me Maker, uh, but not really, it's gonna pop you back at the menu. Uh, you're gonna wanna press Home, and only Home, and that's gonna bring you back to the Homebrew menu. That's gamepad. Um, you're gonna press home again. It's gonna bring you to the actual me channel. Why I have no idea. It just does that. Press the close button. It's gonna bring you to the Wii menu. And once you've done that. Alright, so I have a lot of games here. I'm gonna just go here. Nope, that's too far. And boom. You have a split two or whatever game you downloaded. And to show it actually works, I'll probably press the two itself. And yeah. And to show that I actually have the same data on it, I can show you my loot, my awesome fresh loot. Come on, you can see me now. All right. All right, whatever, Kelly Marie. Oh, well, I was. Stay fresh. All right, and there you go. Here is my loot. Yeah, this punk, weird style going on here, and yeah, this isn't starting fresh at all. <laughs> Get it? Starting fresh already right now. Uh, this is the full game itself, and yeah, fully just, it's really, really just like as a save, a backup kind of thing on the console. So I don't need the disc. Uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching. This, that's it, basically, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. I will see you.
again soon, hopefully. And, yeah, hopefully this was helpful.